Okay, now let us talk about Enrita Lacks briefly. And while I was doing my research on Enrita Lacks, I realized two other black women that share a little bit of similarities to Enrita Lacks, right? They all have John Hopkins in common or their affiliates. And I'm starting to get very suspicious now let us go over just who Enrita Lacks was. Now she was a 31 year old mother of five that died of cervical cancer in the 1950s, right? Now you need to understand that Enrita Lacks cells were taken without her family's permission or without them knowing right now those cells are known as the HEL cells and the scientist that works at the John Hopkins in Baltimore they took those cells now those cells became the first immortal human cell line in history right and that's a big deal now those cells have been responsible for some of the most important medical advances of all time and that include the polio vaccine chemotherapy cloning gene mapping and ivf right now all of these milestones health milestones they owe everything to the life and death of a young mother right so they get the immortal cells from a black woman now i would like to know is it standard practice in the 1950s in the united states of america for them to be collecting cells from black people how did they know that they should have taken some of this woman's cells right especially looking at the time period right no as i said it was the scientist at the john hopkins in baltimore but let us look on another black woman relationship with john hopkins right and we're talking about an award-winning jamaican doctor right and her name is nadine Dominic Morgan, who is 35, and she was killed in a horrifying hit and run after a car struck her SUV and caused it to burst into flames. Now, listen to just exactly who this young woman was. She was the principal investigator in a research project titled Interleukin 13 and scleroderma hope i got that correct in african american for which she received a grant from the rheumatology research fund no i'm not accusing anyone of anything but i'm finding it very suspicious that a brilliant talented research scientist affiliated with john hopkins turned up dead in a hit and run i wonder what happened to her research i wonder who continue with the research and i wonder who is credited with the work those are important questions now another black woman that is affiliated with john hopkins and their affiliation is Saisha Mercado. Now I'm not going to go into the full story, but her two children was illegally kidnapped by CPS, right? And Child Protection Service in the United States don't care for black children, right? They don't care for them. So I cannot understand why they are going after this young black mother and her children. Why? why are they going after them when they are the same ones that get children lost in a system that they cannot um, be held accountable for 
right and if anyone want to challenge me on that i've got the full receipt on the children that went missing while in the care of cps right now what i find quite um similar is that this woman took her son armin ra to the john hopkins all children's hospital right ain't that something no reports are that the manatee county sheriff office revealed it had received information from the hospital child abuse line that a boy was severely malnourished so the information to take away this woman child came from the hospital what is it about black people what is it about black women why is it that john hopkins is so interested in our cells what what's going on why are they so interested in saisha mercado's children knowing their history with um enrieta lax right people connect the dots and ask questions right something is definitely going on they know there is something special about black people's dna and they are not telling us right hence the movie that i'll be doing after this video right i'm telling you this is a wicked cruel world and you better wake up and wake up real fast three black women affiliated with john hopkins and their associates people connect the dots and ask questions right we need to pray and say glory be to the most high